What's up, y'all? It's Kiki for 107.5 WGCI. And I got news that it was some really uh, dope stuff that's happening in the city for women. And you know, we wrapping up Women History Month. So it's only right that I check in with the Queen, Stacia Mack. You know how she coming. And then we got my girl, Ronisha, on the line. She's hey. an entrepreneur, owner of Pretty Hair Weave. So I got some boss ladies uh, yes. on the line. And I need y'all to, you know, fill us in about this amazing project that you guys are doing. It is the Find Her Way Bail yes. Project, right? Yep. Tell us about it. So um, I partnered uh, with Ranisha um, Princess, another entrepreneur from Chicago, and Justice Stamps, a community activist from a long line of activists. Her mom is uh, the legendary um, uh, Marion and Zinga Stamps. And we did this project because in honor of Women's History Month, we always focus on those who have made it, if you will, who are making extreme strides, right? But you can't forget those women that need a second chance, that need more assistance. And I feel that it takes a village. And once you're in that position, then you give back and you help to elevate those women to the level that they need to be on or the next level, if you will. So what better way than to partner with some boss women from Chicago that I admire, that inspire me, like Renisha and Justice and uh, Princess. And that's how it came about. And it was some hard work, child, because we <laughs> <laughs> it was some hard work, but with them assisting and just um, helping me and encouraging me on the way, it, it made it that much easier. Well, yeah, I mean, because what, what's happening with the project that you all are doing, you're actually going down um, mm -hmm. to the jail and posting bail for women who have been incarcerated for nonviolent crimes, getting them out, and then also like providing meals and transportation um, to help them get ready to just get that second chance started. What made you all want to do this? Like, what was the, the driving force behind this initiative? Because it's something that I think people overlook all the time. We forget how many women are incarcerated and away from their kids. So this was something, this is something really unique. What, what really made you guys want to do it? Anisha. So Stacia hit me up and she asked me if I wanted to be a part of this major event. And I'm like, of course, you know, because I once was a single mom and I come from low income. Um, I was a product of my own environment. So that was a reason why I said, you know what, I got a little bit of money. I'm going to be able to, you know, if I'm able to help by any means, I'm down for it. So that's part of the reason why I jumped on board with this. It's a good opportunity to let other women know that, you know, we are we are with you, you know, don't ever think you're alone in this, you know, you have people that stand behind you that want you to do better and to see if you can, you know? Yeah. And I feel like it's a lot of women um, that could really benefit from something like this, right? A lot of people who, you know, families just don't have it, or they may have gotten incarcerated and they just don't have anyone that can help them get out of the situation. How can people be a part of this? How, you know, how can they get their information to you and sign up to be a part of this? Social media is always a powerful tool that we use. Um, I am Stacia Di Mac everywhere, Brandon crazy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and we also established uh, an email, which has been uh, helpful also. It's help at find her way, a C H I shy.com. And the only thing that we, we've gotten a plethora of people, right? Mm -hmm. But they haven't all been from Chicago. Right now, our focus is on Chicago because I feel that with grassroots, we have to empower our community first before we go and venture out. So, unfortunately, for others, it's, it's not going to affect them. But right now, we're focusing on Chicago, which is um, very um, effective for those women that are inside of Chicago. And we wanted to just give people a second chance and let them know that they're not defined by the mistakes that they make and that a second chance is due to many and most and we wanted to be that shining example to show people that you know we're not going to discard anybody that anybody that we can assist we will yeah yeah i mean so people can hit you guys up on social media to uh like share the information of their their loved ones that may be locked up yeah. um i also want to ask you to this because both of you women have built empires okay in your own right you know stacia you were just honored by billboard for you know, being a <laughs> excellence in music, Ranisha, you have the amazing hair brands all over the city. The fur brand that you rocking right now. Um, what, what tips can both of you share with women who are trying to get that second stride in life? You know, they're trying to recover. May had a couple bad baby daddies, and now you're just trying to, you know, you're trying to start your business and, and really restart your life. What are some tips that both of you can share with women that are on that grind? 
So what I would say is put yourself in rooms with like-minded individuals. If you know someone that is doing better than you, don't be scared to ask questions. You have to call them up, hit them up. Don't be afraid of no, because you're going to get people that's going to turn you down and don't tell you what to do. But you can move to the next person and keep going until you get what you're trying to, you know, look what you're looking for. I'm sorry. Yeah, I agree. So, in my instance, I would encourage anyone that if there's something that you really want to do, then don't treat it like a hobby, treat it like a job. The same energy that you give into someone else's dream and punching in every day is the same energy, if not more, that you give into yours, you know? And I tell people that with anything, whether it's the music uh, industry, beauty, whatever, you have to not treat this as something secondary, but like this is all you have and go so hard for it. Yeah, I mean, those are two key points. You definitely got to treat your dreams like your job. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm a living yeah, sure. that. Uh, but, you know, I know there's going to be so many different organizations that are probably going to see the work that you all are doing and want to be a part of it. Um, you know, different organizations, if they're out there that can help women with children, help women with uh, addiction issues, how can they reach you all to be a part of it? What, what is the, give that email again? The email is help at findherway, C-H-I, dot com find her way all right well ladies i'm not gonna take too much of your time because i know y'all are busy out here getting folks out of jail building these <laughs> empires listen um i just want to commend both of you for the amazing work that you do you are making chicago very very proud um mm -hmm. and it, it takes women like you with courage and, and those type of uh empires to really make a change and encourage other people to give back as well so thank you ladies for uh joining me today on the show and then one more time let people know your social media and how they can help go ahead Ronish. so you all can hit up station mac she gave the information um it's on her page it's on my page also both pages pretty hair weave is located on my personal page miss ronisha the email is listed on my Instagram page. We posted, I want to say yesterday. Um, if you have any questions about the organization, please email that. Um, you can also DM me and I'll forward your information over if need be. I am very active on my Instagram pages. So if you need any questions or have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, I'm here. And as always, I'm Stacia.Mac everywhere. <laughs> There we go. Y'all make sure y'all take advantage of this, man. So many people have aunties and mothers and, you know, doing time for stuff that is old or, you know, they just made a mistake. And this is the opportunity for you all to help them um, get out and restart their lives. So thank you so much, ladies. I can't wait to see all the amazing things that you guys continue to do with the Find Her Way Project. We thank love y'all in Chicago. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Yep, Bye. -bye. You too. Bye.